everybody, this is Zach Bailey. Time to do another Geek Fuel unboxing. Time to let my uh, let my geek flag fly and uh, get my geek on. Feel my inner geek. All those words that use the word geek. <laughs> those sentences rather. So time to rip that open. This is not staying on my arm properly. And oh no, little no little uh, little. Doodad Man sticker, and the paper is thicker than normally. It's usually some sort of tissue paper, but uh, I see a lot of things in here. One thing I'm already really, really super uh, happy about, however, uh, we'll get that in a moment. <clears throat> First thing on top, I see a couple, and my thing is going for, I see a, a magnet of the Red Ranger, which is cool. That's going to go right up here, because uh, power is just cool. I have, um, this is unique. Because at the time that this game originally came out, I could see this being something, although the parents would probably get mad about it, that, that they would actually do. Even though the, the item itself, admittedly, kind of lame. I'm probably never going to use it, but it is, it, it's, it's a what-if item. It is a bookmark of uh, Scorpion that says, finish it, reading, and he's reading a book, and then one of Sub-Zero. It's... It, I like the concept. That maybe because of the nostalgia. That's maybe that's what the whole theme of this is—is is nostalgia. Um, we shall see. Here is Super Win the Game Soundtrack Edition, downloadable game code and keychain. Oh, this is so this is a Steam uh, Geek Fuel exclusive. This is a uh, throw on your nostalgia goggles and travel back in time with the Super Win the Game, the Retro Core Explosion. Of exploration, platforming, and platforming action. Download a copy with the uh, Steam code, which is on the back here. Uh, I like keys. I, I like ornate, uh, old-style keys. So this was, depending on what this is made out of and how durable it is, I might either put it on my keychain. I'm afraid of it breaking, though. I don't know what it's made out of. But uh, the Geek Fuel Guide, which I, I've been neglecting looking at these when I've come across them only because of um, the fact that I thought that they were having spoilers in it. They don't. Uh, here, are, here are the people who made it into this month's uh, thing. If you see yourself on there, uh, leave a comment if you happen to be watching my video. Uh, there's some other stuff. Ultimate Geek Guide. Uh, some cool. I'll look at. That. I will look at this later, just because of the fact that it's. This was. This is a big, heavy book. I mean, big, heavy box today, and it's because I have the original 25th anniversary edition of Michael. That guy, <laughs> the original Jurassic Park novel. That is cool. I have to say that is that is very very cool. Also, sneakily underneath that is. The uh, the Lost World novel. So I got two two books here, two books in one, um, which uh, is really cool because I've heard that there was a lot of differences between what what ended up in the films and what was uh, in the books, as per usual. So there is that. And do not ingest. Okay, at least I know that. Um, this is '90s mutant hero ooze. <laughs> it's really cool. It is a jar of um, retro-style mutagen ooze. And uh, thumbs up if you get that reference. It smells like baby shampoo. <laughs> it doesn't smell like baby shampoo. It just kind of smells like shampoo, but not baby shampoo. It says uh, water, polyethanol, and I can't... It's got the ingredients. I can't read it because the sticker's over it. But it's, uh, it's goo. It's definitely uh, mutagen ooze there. No, no little, uh, little plastic, plasticky uh, turtle inside. It's, it's fine though. Um, and let's see what this is. This is this shirt for this month. Is there anything on the back? No. So I'm not spoiling it for 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 you. This. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> this I don't know how well you can tell because of the. Uh, it's obviously parodying the uh, famous. Uh, thing. <laughs> I don't remember the name of it. Um, where there was a nudie guy in the middle with uh, six arms and six legs. I can't remember. I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm probably ashamed of myself. I should be ashamed of myself. Let's see. The truth is out there. Oh, okay, exclusive t-shirts. The truth is out there. That's what the shirt says. 
or what a shirt is about. Uh, whether you believe or not is up to you, but the fact that the matter is the truth is out there. An ode to the favorite alien-based science fiction show of the 90s, uh, obviously X-Files, uh, were given a central and mostly unseen character at center stage as Da Vinci's uh, Vitruvian Man. There we go. Uh, venture forth and discover your own truth. And then also, you know, everything else that was in here, uh, the two books, which takes up most of the uh, the space in here. The ooze, the finish it bookmark, and in one of, obviously, five, not six, although it should have been, uh, <laughs> Power Ranger uh, Magnet. So that's really cool. Let me, uh, and again, this is like, I, I can, this is like a lot heavier. This is like proper paper uh, versus the, uh, little tissue paper that we put in before which is it's, it's, it's nice uh like that i can probably use that as you know wrap something in let me dive into here real quick i do usually read back the front for these things just because all the cool stuff's usually in the back it's usually actually how I, back when video game magazines were a thing uh that's how i usually would read those as well so i guess some people that were dressing up for uh that uh, was it Comic Con in uh, where were this uh, Colorado? I think it was Comic Con. Some more people's that's right for the Geek Fuel box. <laughs> oh boy, uh, top '90s cartoons. I can safely say I've watched every single one of these. Uh, some of them unwillingly, but uh, nonetheless. So that's what the Jurassic World. Uh, you get the two novels. That's what it's talking about there. It gives a little bit of blurb there about that. Um, more 90s gadgets. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> oh, man. I had a couple of these, actually. And I did watch uh, MST3K, of course, who didn't. If you did not, you were a communist. That's basically... No. Um, <laughs> and X-Files is supposed to be returning, I, I, I'm assuming, in another series... Uh, whether or not that's going to be any good, I don't know. Um, best of May unboxing videos. Oh, that's separate from the other page over here. Okay. Well, again, hey, if you see who uh, yourselves in there, uh, do me a favor and uh, comment in the video. Super win game. Actually, looks like sort of Zelda 2 Adventure of Link a little bit. That will be interesting. I need to, I need to download that. And uh, I, I have. I went back and I looked at the other codes that I had, that I had from Geek Fuel. And the one, apparently the first one I put up, either A, nobody watched it and nobody, nobody uh, got the code from it, or B, it was so blurry you couldn't tell because my camera's crap. But um, I put in all three of the codes I got so far. And, which, yeah, this is be the fourth one. And I've only been able to play one of the games. The other two games are a little too powerful for my computer. Uh, but with that said, now that, you know, you have some more Geek... Uh, Geeky goodness stuff you can buy from various websites. I like the NES cartridge cutting board. That is really cool. And the, and the steampunk USB drive. They have to have a uh, combination to get out. And then that was the... Okay, so that's it. Um, that is it for the for this month. I will say definitely probably... I mean, I'm not a big reader. But this is cool. Um, if I have... The, if I have the opportunity... If I, have, if I take the time. I'll put it that way. If I take the time, I will definitely get through these. I have a lot of things I need to get through. Uh, personally myself, but I do like these. Um, Magnet, which I forgot about because it's out of my sight. Very, very cool. I would prefer Black Ranger. Um, that goes back to actually uh, Gyori Sentai Jr. Ranger because I, that was actually it was weird. That, that was the first uh, figure I got, the like 12 inch tall figures, action figures. First one I got of those, and oddly enough, I really liked his uh, character. I think it was uh, Goshi, if I'm not mistaken. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I know I watched the entire series and I should be able to remember that. The retro mutagen style ooze. Uh, the retro style mutagen ooze. There we go. Love this stuff. Um, let's let's just crack it open and get a little... Ew. <laughs> it didn't really ooze. It just kind of broke. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, probably going to have to wash my hands thoroughly after this. It's not, it's not as goopy uh, and runny. As I remember, I did have the, I think I had one, I never had this actually, I had the one from Toxic Crusaders, that's the one I had before. That sound. Anyway, uh, then the key, I like the key, I like the key. I, I don't want to try to bend it though, 
to see if it'll break because I might actually break it, which I really don't want to do. But um, yeah, we'll try the code. Usually, older like old style old that yeah, old style games like this will run pretty well on my my piece of like my, my crap top over here. Um, so hopefully this will work. It's a ten dollar value game, which is really cool. Uh, minor key games. Ha ha ha. Um, <laughs> this looks really cool, I have to say. Given the screenshot I saw, I will, I will check this out when I ever get off work tonight. And uh, hopefully, you know, I will have countless hours of awesome enjoyment. I do like this keychain, this key. Uh, I really like that. So anyways, that was Geek Field, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, obviously, if you liked what you saw here, or if you believe that uh, out of watching all my, and, and, and let me suggest this. If this look, if you didn't think anything here looked good, do here. Go back and watch the other videos I did. I'm not saying that to, to plug myself. I'm merely saying that because, you know, give, give, give feel a fair shake. If you didn't see anything that you liked on the t-shirt as well, it's good. Um, they do have better stuff. Uh, I highly recommend Geek Fuel. One thing I will say until the day that I am no longer able to get Geek Fuel is they are out of everything I've seen. They are the better quality subscription box service. Uh, certainly better than any crates or blocks you will find uh, floating around the internet. Um, so with that said, uh, there's links in the description. There's uh, always a link in the description for the uh, monthly drawing that they have for a free Geek Fuel box. Uh, and then there's the sign up. So by all means, go downstairs in the description and uh, check that out. And uh, that is it until next month. This is uh, Ox Bigling. Ox Bigling. Yes. <laughs> I forgot my name. Ox Bigly unboxing of Geek Fuel. See you next month. Bye. Ah! Obviously, the, the, the crates no longer had enough loot in it for me, so I uh, decided to fuel my inner geek. So with that said, uh, this is for March 2015. I'm not sure if there is a theme. Two lucky winner from Geek Fuel. Congratulations, you have won a free movie ticket to see The Avengers Age of Ultron, courtesy of your friends at Geek Fuel. Be sure to show off your winning Ticket in tag geek fuel has to find more great videos and blogs at manicexpression.com.